What's up guys, Malachi here. Today, I wanted to talk a little bit about Planet Fitness, or as I like to call it, Planet Fatness. <laughs> Am I right? Nobody? Okay. Well, the reason I want to talk about Planet Fitness is that I just rewatched a movie last night that made the reality and absurdity of this chain of gyms really sink in with me. The movie that I watched was Dodgeball. If you haven't seen it, the message of this movie is basically, if someone is better or richer than you, that person is probably a moronic piece of shit with enormous character flaws. Seriously, that's the message. Vince Vaughn, the protagonist in this movie, is a poor, ambitionless college dropout that owns a pseudo-planet fitness gym called Average Joe's. It's okay, though, because he has a heart of gold. Meanwhile, Ben Stiller, the villain, who owns the far superior Globo Gym, is a successful, in-shape, meathead stereotype, meaning that he is stupid, vain, and incredibly greedy. I saw this movie when it came out, and I didn't think anything of it, but upon rewatching it, I realized how sad and accurate that movie really was for how the future would pan out. Now, I thought for a moment that the movie Dodgeball may have come out before Planet Fitness was created, and the founders saw that movie and took the message seriously, but a quick Google search was able to put those worries to rest. Planet Fitness was created in 1992, and Dodgeball came out in 2004, so maybe someone went to a Planet Fitness, realized the super pathetic environment, and went ahead and made an incredibly satirical movie about the clientele. It may sound like I hate Planet Fitness, because I do, but hear me out. It wasn't the commercials that would mock and shame people that wanted to get in shape or already were in shape. It wasn't the fact that they had a pizza day once a month or bagel day once a week. It wasn't even the stigma of the fitness of the Planet Fitness patrons being old people, children, or ambitionless gym goers. All of those things I would be able to deal with on their own, but together. Jesus, man, it was way too much. I used to go to that gym. It wasn't all that bad in the beginning. I was actually pretty lucky the Planet Fitness that I went to had a pull-up bar, a squat rack, and a bench press, as well as all that purple bullshit equipment. I think this is because it was adopted by an already established gym, and they were too lazy to get rid of the useful equipment when Planet Fitness took over. I didn't always hate the gym. And the $10 a month was the best deal that I could find, anywhere short of buying my own set of weights. This feeling didn't last long, though. The first thing you notice walking in, aside from the blatantly flamboyant machinery, is that on the front desk is a massive jar of Tootsie Rolls. Strange for a gym, but whatever, you know, $10 a month. Then you notice the lack of in-shape people, and the seas of cardio equipment, and that glaring fucking siren on the wall labeled Lunk Alarm. Yep, they sound a fucking siren if you make too much noise while curling or doing an exercise that they consider unorthodox. Or if you look too in shape. Oh, I mean, gym intimidating. You've seen the commercials. The Lunk Alarm is not a fucking joke. They have that thing. Seriously, look it up. There have been numerous occasions of people being kicked out or stigmatized against for the attire they have worn that would be acceptable at every other gym in the United States. So yeah, they sound a fucking alarm randomly. What does that mean for people in the middle of a set or concentrating on pushing some serious weight when that siren goes off? Good luck. Hopefully you don't drop that weight on your face when we startle you for an arbitrary reason because some dipshit higher up thought that this siren gimmick was a good idea. So back when I didn't have much money, out of sheer desperation, I used Planet Fitness. And looking back, what a fucking waste. I knew was seriously wrong when I felt a sense of shame when someone would look at the fob on my keychain when I was making purchases. The silent judgment of, oh, you go to Planet Fitness. The very same face that people that inquire about which gym you go to after they found out you work out and you hesitantly mutter, Planet Fitness. Without fail, after uttering the name, I would try to justify it. It's not that bad, mine has a squat rack and bench presses, or it's not that bad, it's 24 hours and close to my house. I don't know who I was trying to convince at that point, them or me. Anyways, 
I went to that plan of fitness for about six months and had the lunk alarm sounded on me twice. I would love to take that as a point of pride, but I am by no means a bodybuilder. I'm no fat slob, but I'm not a scrawny twig either. Having that alarm sounded on me twice because I was doing clean and jerks or deadlifting on a Smith machine was one of the more shameful aspects of my life. Not because I was ashamed to be so gym intimidating or badass, but because it set the level of patheticness and fear that you are surrounded by at that gym. That's the last thing I wanted to mention. Planet Fitness encourages mediocrity and stagnation. That's the thing. The alarm was sounded on me, was spurred on because I was told on by a fellow patron. Let that sink in. A full-grown man tattled on me because he didn't feel comfortable with how I was lifting and minding my own business. Instead of being the least bit confrontational or masculine and talking to me about how he was feeling uncomfortable or that I was doing something he disapproved of, he went and got another fucking adult. Here's the thing before you chastise me. When I lift, I don't grunt or exhale loudly, listen to loud music, throw weights around, or hog machinery. He just didn't like that I was doing something, so he told on me. Now I never get to know what that thing was because there was no fucking dialogue. There was a siren, and then management tapped me on the shoulder and told me to stop. I don't know about you, but if I'm at the gym, I don't give a shit what other people are doing. I focus on me. Unless someone is in danger of hurting themselves or me, it doesn't really register to me. At Planet Fitness, the other people watch each other. The judgment is palpable, hence why there is a dress code and you can get kicked out for working too hard. It's a safe space gym, and it's fucking pathetic. I really hate, or I really hope that the Planet Fitness business model doesn't spread to other industries. Imagine being in an office setting and someone works harder than you, or being in school and someone studies more than you. You don't get to say that they are intimidating. You have to be an adult and face the facts that sometimes life is uncomfortable, and that's okay. But you don't get to just say, this person is making me feel inferior, and have your worthless crab in a bucket mentality rewarded. Anyways, I've wanted to get this off my chest for a little while now. Uh, feel free to subscribe if you would like to hear more rants and stories. Alright guys, peace out.